Alex, just set out for us why this is so significant in terms of our broader view on AI. So NVIDIA, at least from an equity perspective, yeah. is the thing that has really driven the boom. We had, of course, ChatGPT. Then when it, when it came to the end of the March quarter, they forecast the quarter in right now, and it was more than 50% higher than analysts had been expected. They telegraphed uh, revenue of $11 billion. Now, the analyst expectations are now for ever so slightly more than that, $11.04 billion, more or less in line. Um, the concentration now is what are they going to forecast for the upcoming quarter? What's going to be... Uh, you know, the quarter that ends at the end of October, they're predicting 12 and a half billion. That will give us a sense of the staying power of this AI boom. Okay, so Alex is looking at the forecast. Matt, what are you and the team at Bloomberg Intelligence going to be zeroing in on when it comes to AI, when it comes to NVIDIA's earnings and the broader read across? Yeah, well, I, th I think it really is this kind of AI fueled uh, demand boost. It's, that's mm. really helping their data center business, which is, you know, potentially in that 12.5 billion for the forward quarter, going to more than double um, year on year. So it's got kind of an acceleration in growth there. And I guess, you know, what we're seeing is all these end markets, you know, uh, everybody is scrambling to create their own version of a GPT generative tool uh, or tools you know, across every industry. So there's a huge amount of pent-up demand. I guess one of the big questions is to what extent is the supply chain allowing them to meet mm. that demand? So that might be the only one thing that might temper uh, the optimism they, they, they put out there in terms of uh, the growth rate.